Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL Store Process Tutorial for Beginners. This is our part 3. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we create a store processor using our PHP MyAdmin. In the last video that is part 2, inside that we had discussed about that how can we create our stored processor using MySQL syntax where actually we had created and seen an example of that. Now inside this video, if you back to browser, now this is our PHP MyAdmin interface. Now inside any of the database, just go inside any of the database as per your selected choice. Now inside this my PHP MyAdmin, this is the database that actually currently I am in. Something called learn underscore code igniter. Now inside this database, we have an option right here, something called routines. So if I click on the routines, now inside that, this is actually the stored processor we have made using command by using our MySQL commands. Now inside this video, we are going to make the stored processor using provided manually something called PHP MyAdmin tool. So for that, here is the button as we can see that something called add routine. So if I click on that, now after clicking on that, we have a model popped up. Using this model, we are going to create our stored processor. So first of all, we have to provide the routine name. Routine name, it means that processor name. So let's say that get to books. This is actually our processor name. I am going to specify something called get to books or we can make something called the camel case something get to books. Okay, now here we have a drop down something called processor or a function. So we are going to make the stored processor. Now here as we can see that we have to pass some parameters to our pros created processor. But inside this video or so far we haven't discussed about the parameters in MySQL stored processor. We will discuss about in parameter, out parameter, in out parameter in our upcoming videos. So for now, I am going to drop this parameter section from here. After that, we need to define our body inside this definition section. It means that all the codes actually we had written in the, inside our previous video inside the block something called begin and the end block. So inside the code we have to provide right here. So let's say begin and here we have to write something called end here. Now inside this begin and end we have to pass the body of this stored processor. So let's say that select a strict from let's say that we have a table inside our database so if I open a new tab of here again back to database now inside this database we have a books table this is my phmyadmin error now inside this we have a table something called books again back here and let's say select asterisk from the table name something called books and here as the name suggests that we are going to select only two books so let's say select all from books limit to here we are not going to specify any order by now finally put semicolon at the end of a statement so scroll down to put all the parameters remaining here now we are not going to select this or check this is deterministic this is basically used when we pass the parameters to our created stored processor in that case we have to check that inside this definer section we are going to pass this root it is the username of our php my admin and the second something called the host name something this is called root at the rate localhost now inside this security type if i click on this drop down we have called definer and the invoker so we have to select definer because this definer represents that we are going to connect with the root username with our local host now sql data access inside this here we have multiple options inside this drop down so we have passed our mysql statements here so go here and let's say contain sql statement so successfully we have passed all the necessary parameters of this model. Now finally we have to click on this go button. So I am going to click on that and successfully we have created our stored processor right here something called get to books. 
So behind the scene, actually we have made this stored processor using our model interface. But behind the scene, actually the PHP MyAdmin is actually running this command to create this stored processor. Now how can we run this stored processor right here? So in our previous video session, we had seen that we have two options, either copy the stored processor name, go to SQL. Now inside this SQL tab, we have to write our stored processor name and before that we need to attach something called call here. Now if I press enter, as we can see that we have selected two records because this is stored processor which contains the definition. If I click on this edit, it contains the definition to select only two records. So if I close this model, so alternative way, this is the first way to execute. In the alternative way, we can actually click on this execute link to run our stored processor. And as we can see that, but behind the scene, it executed this command, what actually we have run right here. Also again, if I back to our definition section of our created stored processor, click on edit. Now inside that, if I put something here, if I make some zoom, Let's say that select asterisk or all from books. Let's order by ID and let's say descending order. So if I, after updating all these things, if I make configuration here, click on go button, successfully we have updated that. So if I click on execute button, these are the data actually we are getting from descending order, order by this ID. In our upcoming videos, we will discuss about that if we want to pass some parameters to our created stored processor, so how can we pass that? If we want to declare some of the temporary variables inside our stored processor, so how can we declare and use those variables? And also, we will see about the output parameter of a stored processor. Output parameter are those parameters which basically takes or stores the result and get back the result to our call method. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.